So in a previous video, I said that if you get bitten, you will 100% die. And that is true unless you do one of these two things. In the settings, if you go to zombie lore, you will see a tab that says transmission. In here, you can change how the zombie virus gets transmitted to you. So you can change the transmission to none so that you won't die from that one zombie that makes absolutely no noise and sneaks up on you from behind to take a nice juicy chunk out of my neck, and then I have to slowly watch my character descend into madness while I go out and kill every single last zombie I see to cope with my rage from losing my favorite character due to this one little ninja zombie. Or you can go install some mods that add some interesting ways to stop yourself from dying to infection. Credit goes to the comments section in my previous video, if it weren't for those guys I wouldn't even know that these mods existed. The first mod is the They Knew mod. This mod adds a rare special zombie that carries the cure to the virus, so if you do get bitten, there is still a chance to survive. But do remember though that this zombie is very rare, so you may not even be able to find this guy before you turn. Still, this is a pretty cool mod that I would recommend trying out. And then the next mod is the Only Cure mod. This mod brings in a very cool feature where if you get bitten, you have the choice to cut off your arms. Now obviously this is only effective if you get bitten on your arms, but it's still pretty cool. And once your arm or hand is sawed off, you will struggle to do simple things like picking stuff up, and you will also have to deal with the fact that you just sawed off your arm, so you're probably bleeding a good amount, and you want to make sure you have the proper medical supplies so you don't bleed out. But my favorite part about this mod is the prosthetics. I mean, look at this. You can be a fucking pirate. How cool is that? So I also recommend trying out this mod too if you want to be able to survive a bite and be a pirate at the same time. So those are the three ways that you can survive a zombie bite in Project Zomboid. Hope you all are having a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.